Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Partial obedience is not truly obedience. Sometimes I ask my children to do a chore, and I can tell when they don't want to do it. They do it halfway. When we do things halfway, we are forgetting what others have done for us, let alone what God has done for us. The Bible reading today is from Judges chapters 1 through 5, and the verse of the day is Judges 3, verse 7. So the sons of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and they forgot the Lord their God, and served the Baals and the Asheroth. In context, Joshua was dead, and now the Israelites were seeking to fight against the Canaanites. The Lord said that Judah should go, but as God's people went, they did not fully drive out the enemies of God. Partial obedience is not obedience. And after Joshua was gone, the people reverted back to idolatry. Judges 2 verse 16 says, Then the Lord raised up judges who saved them from the hands of those who plundered them. Yet they did not listen to their judges, for they committed infidelity with other gods and bowed down to them. They turned aside quickly from the way in which their fathers had walked in obeying the commandments of the Lord. They did not do the same as their fathers. Israel's idolatry led to servitude, slavery to idols, which are not gods at all. The key words that I picked, the first word that I picked was the word forget, shahak. It means to ignore, to forget, to cease to care. Those words to cease to care cut me to the heart. To forget about the one who never forgets us seems unimaginable. We have to be intentional in our faith and relationship with God or we will worship idols instead. The second key word that I picked was the word for served and it's avad. It means to keep in bondage, worshiper, to labor for another. The song Serve Somebody from the early 1960s by Bob Dylan is a vivid reminder that we will all serve somebody, something. There are really only two that we serve, the enemy or the savior. Serving self is not serving God. Serving for our own glory isn't either. And we can end up enslaved without even realizing it. The thought of the day, don't forget the one who never forgets you. And the application, when we order our lives around Jesus, our work and service is never in vain. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Isaiah.